Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my living room floor. Um, if you haven't seen this place before, it's probably because one, I haven't shown you, and two, and two, because I recently, me and my sister painted our lounge orange. Um, I'm pretty sure I have my landlord's consent, but I can't find where that message was. So hopefully I didn't imagine it and hopefully it's all good. But yeah, I love this orange wall. Um, and this is a little area in my living room for the amps and candles. A lava lamp that doesn't work because we break all of them, I don't know how. And some little vintage magazines down there, we'll get to those in a minute. But um, today I thought I'd show you a little haul of clothes and homeware and bits and bobs that I've collected over the past month or so um this isn't everything that i've bought just a few of my favorites um i am a bit of a shopaholic but i also collecting vintage and and well anything vintage is my a big hobby of mine so i try not to get on myself too much but yeah i thought i'd show today um things that i've bought myself um and maybe in another video i can show things that have been sent to me or what i get in the mail or something like that um, but yeah, let's get started. I think we'll start on the clothes because there's some goodies here. So a lot of these things are going to, I'm going to say where I work. I got them from where I work, which is a vintage shop in Camden, if you didn't know. And um, we're going to start off with this jumper. And I never buy jumpers. I never wear jumpers out, but I love them. They're so comfy. So I really wanted to this winter buy a jumper. It's awesome buy a jumper that I can style vintage -y, sort of like 70s vibes I suppose and um, I, that is what I did and it's a Led Zeppelin one it's even really cool because they put my tattoo on it which is crazy I don't know how they knew but um, it's a vintage jumper but then you can tell by the label but then it was this print was printed on in America so vintage jumper but um, a modern print old design though I'll move over here so I can show what it looks like on um, yes yeah, lovely so comfy and I can style this pretty simply just for comfy days you know and it's just exactly what I just what I needed from that same place I'm um, sorry it's a bit creased but I wore it the other day is this little war is over t-shirt so this isn't really, I wouldn't say it's vintage because it is 2018, so it's not very old, but um, you know, it's in my collection of what I've bought recently. Sometimes, like, we get stuff that isn't that old in the shop, but it's too cool to pass up. And the reason I love this so much is because it's like a small t shirt, and normally the t shirts I find are like medium sizes, so they just look a little silly on me, but this fits so nicely and it has a little imagine on the shoulder which i think is cool but yeah it's the war is over print it's a little wonky but so am i and i love it it's gorgeous okay so tell a lie that is actually something that was gifted to me but i had to show it because i'm just so excited about this unfortunately i've forgotten the name of the shop i'll put it right here i'm so bad at remembering all the vintage shops but um this lady has sent me the most gorgeous red velvet set so it's an alex coleman california piece which is really cool i've been doing a little bit of research on his designs this is the label i think in late 60s early 70s so this is the top beautiful red velvet with covered buttons my favorite color of course wide leg gorgeous velvet like the whole thing is velvet can't believe it these fit me perfectly like on my waist lovely lovely but um, the top was a little big, so before I can get it taken in, I don't want to do it myself because I suck at sewing. So um, I'll get it taken in so this fits nice and tight, but um, oh my god, I literally almost cried when I saw this package. Um, I love it so much. One of the best online vintage collections that I've seen in a very long time. Um, so check it out. I'm really sorry I can remember the name. Next, I'm going to jump into what I got at Goodwood Revival. And if you don't know about that, um, it's like a big 
festival type thing where you have to dress, there's like a dress code of 1940s to mid 60s. I went with my family and my boyfriend and um, we had a blast, drank loads, did a lot of dancing and looked at loads of like um, old planes and cars and everything. Boring, I'm just kidding. And there's a lot of shopping. The prices are really good for such a um, famous event. Um, I was really surprised and this collection was insane. Like I'd, again, never seen anything like it, it was lovely. So the first dress is this black and yellow paisley print. I'd say midi dress. I'm gonna hem it because I always like dresses to be nice and short. <laughs> um, a lot of these I'm probably gonna hem. It's got a high neck collar, which is lovely, super 60s. And the pattern is just gorgeous. I think yellow and black is really cool. I don't have, I don't think anything like that. And it's got little bits of white in it. In it. The next one is a tight little 60s dress. Um, it kind of reminds me a bit of Emilio Pucci um, with this design. Yeah, it fits gorgeous. It has an interesting sort of neckline as well. It looks normal here, but it's a bit square, long sleeves, and I love it. This stars itself too because of the crazy pattern, but just these some boots and like a silver circle necklace here. Super cool, I love it. This one I think is pretty Halloween-y um because it's orange and black this is the dress i love it it has these orange um gray flowers on it really cool and then it has um this like black little tie up all the way down to here <laughs> and this lovely like beagle collar so lovely or well, sort of beagle collar it's polyester, so I'm definitely going to get sweaty in it, but it's worth it. And then these sleeves look nice on. They sort of go a little bit balloony, like a tiny bit, and then at the cuff, they come in. So it's a really nice shape. Fits really nicely. I love it. It's really, like, really well made. And again, I haven't seen anything like it, really. So this one, I don't really know if I will wear it because it needs some altering. altering. Um, but I love this one. It was like the first one I tried on because I was like, yeah, absolutely. It's a blue little romper. It's lovely um, with a dagger collar as well. The problem is, so there was already like a little hole in the side, but I sewed that up so neatly. Maybe I'm better than I thought. But <laughs> I think I need to do another hook and eye at the front because it's it opens too much down here. I think it's missing one. There's already like threads here. So I need to do another hook and eye before I can wear it out. And I need to hurry up because it's starting to get really cold. But English girls don't get cold. We wear anything we want because we're used to it. Um, so yeah, I love it. I just need to fix her. This little number matches this room really well. I love oranges and browns. Super 60s. Look at her! So it is a, I would say a top. I kind of wear it as a micro mini because it has a really nice shape. Like where the darts go, it sort of flares out a little bit. So I wear it like um, with tights and then shorts underneath. So it kind of looks like a dress, but then you're not showing anything too much. Gorgeous pattern. It fits really nicely. It was made for me, I think. <laughs> um, all this orange and brown detail, it's so cool. And then these little buttons on the front. And then again, I don't need to really do anything when I wear this because I don't need to worry about jewelry or anything because this baby pays for itself. I'm perfect for the new season, perfect for my new living room. Everything is one big circle. So the last one I got at Goodwood is, oh, or emotionally prepare myself, is this. Oh, okay, so this is pretty tight on me, but um, I literally didn't care. Like, I don't need to breathe when it's this pretty. So it's, um, how do I even describe her? So it's this black dress with like a rainbow print waistcoat and details. So it starts with this like ruffle collar and then goes down into this little waistcoat. And then even the covered buttons are the same material. Oh, looks so nice. 
and then little mesh see-through sleeves. The elastic's gone a little bit on the cuffs, but like who cares? Um, with some more ruffles, you can see through it, the sleeves, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'm I can't remember if this is short or not. I might have this as well. <laughs> um, but I, I can't believe this really. It's such a gem. I can't believe it wasn't snatched up already. The, no, the very last thing I got from Goodwood was just a little beret because I have I lost mine ages ago. I used to wear it quite a lot. Um, I always struggle to put them on, but we love a good beret. Okay, we're gonna move on to a few homeware pieces, um, or like um, I don't know how else to describe it. Just not clothes. So we're gonna start with another thing I got in Goodwood at a different store. Um, oh. This lamp, I love it. It's a little rickety this when it, it has no bulb in it, so it's sort of shaking around a bit. Um, they're quite expensive, but then this is like brass. Um, I don't know, but it's gorgeous, 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 and it matches my house so much. I love it. It's just like, take a look at that. Geometric, super like mid century modern. Next, I bought this from my shop as well. It is a little leather wallet or purse. Um, it's really gorgeous. I love this. The reason I had to get it was because, legally, I had to get it was because from that shop, I also bought a leather patchwork bag, handbag, really recently. And then this randomly came in and I was like, what? And I was like, wow. That's mine then, isn't it? So it has all my cards in here. I can't show you obviously my cards because why the hell would I do that? But there's some like business cards here that you can see. Um, you can see how it like has the little sections. You could also put photos in there, which is quite cute. And then like a little coin thing, um, space for cash. And then on the other side, um, I can put my Oyster card there. And then it has space for like receipts and IDs and stuff. Amazing, so cool, I love it. Before I had like a mustard, quite big purse, like it was like this but a bit bigger. And everyone called it like a mum purse. And I was like, right, well, I'm not having that. So. Next up, also from my shop, which is where I get basically everything. I'm not gonna apologize. <laughs> uh, I got some um, Y2K Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses. I don't really care about brands that much, but I just go for what they look like and these were on an amazing sale because they're scratched a little bit. I don't even really hear, you know. It even has the still the original barcode because they're dead stock. But I haven't taken that off yet. Um so yeah, I got them for my boss for an amazing deal, I couldn't believe it. But I think they're really cool. I struggle to find sunglasses that I really like. I want I have like a million pairs, but one pair that I want actually wear and then also these. But I love how they're purple. I actually have quite a lot of purpley things. And I think they just add a little bit. I really like them. I also have this little Rolling Stones pin. It's an original one from the 70s. It's green printed, I believe. And I just wanted to show this off because I love it so much. Um, it's really good quality. And it's just cool that's from the 70s, like a Stones fan, an original Stones fan, you know, would have worn it. And it's just really cool, I think. I also have this Playboy, which my sister got me when she went to Brighton. Sorry, there's building going on out there. It's from 1969. Fucking 1969. So cool. Obviously, I'm not going to show you inside, but it's really thick. It's really most of it's really boring because it's like entertainment from entertainment for men. Um, <laughs> but. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in it. Um, I've always wanted one of these. I just think they're so cool to collect and everything. Um, I have a few vintage magazines down here, mostly just like teen ones. So I wanted another one that was a little bit more um, adventurous, shall we say. But it's really cool to look through. But some of the artwork is amazing in here. And I'm not talking about the naked ladies. I'm talking about like posters and like cigarette ads and you know I've actually saved some of the um 
photos for like taking pictures of some of these pages for like makeup tips because genuinely some of them are so cool but yeah it's got loads of lovely little 60s shoots in and i love to take inspiration from these for my own shoots not the naked ones but you know and then like stuff like this it's really cool um it's got the beatles in there oh boy is just really iconic the old ones you know um buying them second hand i don't think it's very problematic so the last thing i'm going to show is what my friend lizzie gave to me when i visited her recently a vintage drama mama you have to check her out um she's amazing i love her but look at these little teacups they're so cute i love them so much 60s ones made in england they're so sweet. I love them and it makes our house look so cool. The details like that that really makes, you know, a house a home, as they say. I hope you enjoyed everything. I love going through and showing you guys these things. Um, and I will definitely do more of these if you like them. And let me know what else you'd like to see. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, night, evening. Peace and love. Peace and love. See you later. Bye.